Okay, when you do a continued on in InDesign, put that in a separate text frame as we have here. And then I'm going to move my text to the end of the text where it says continued on. I'll add the word page, continue on page. Let's actually get uh, space in there. And let's make sure this is big enough. So in this one here, somebody put a bunch of spaces and tabs. We don't want that. All right, that should already be set for a right justification. Continue on page, and instead of typing the number 15, I'm going to put a space. I'm going to go up to type, go down to insert special character, markers, and next page number. That'll automatically put the page number in. Now, how does it know which page it is? Well, this box has to be actually touching the text box of the one that we want to continue from. And whatever this text box here has been linked to by using the little red box um, will automatically put that page number in. So now if I move down to page 15, 13, 14, 15, okay, this is the Summit Learning comes to BHS. There's Summit Learning comes to BHS. Looks like it needs a little headline help here, but we'll just move that out of the way. And where it says continued from, this also wants to be in its own text box. So I'm going to go ahead and create a text box. Just get out of this. Okay. And then I'm just going to pull the box out. And then I will write continued from in a space. And while I'm on here, I can click the paragraph style for continued from to get my formatting. And then I'm going to go back to text. Insert special character markers previous page number. That will automatically put the previous page number in um, as long as I am contacting this link text. Now notice this is on top of the text. I don't like that. So I need to go to text wrap and I need to make sure that it's that wrap around bounding box. And in this case I may have gotten a little large in the box. We can adjust that till it looks good and move this up. Just be careful it's not touching the um, headline because if you do it may get confused and put the current page number on. All right, and since this one looks like it's got a special formatting, we'll just play with the formatting a little bit. But that's it. Essentially, you just type type, insert special character markers, and choose next page number, previous page number, and the box has to be touching the text box that it's associated with.